Hey everybody, I'm your host Chris Bissett, and on this episode of Food Nerd, we are making Puerco Verde tacos, and to go along with it, we're making Bloody Mary rice. Why is it that we're going south of the border with this menu? Because we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo, the Mexican Independence Day. What? Cinco de Mayo, the day that Mexico seceded from America. What? Come on. That's what it is? Ready, aim, fire. of what Cinco de Mayo is, check out this video. A Cinco de Mayo! What is this festival, you may ask? Well, we have to go all the way back to 1862, when President Benito Juarez led the people of Mexico. But the people were broke, and they had no money to pay their debts. While they settled their debts with England and Spain, France would have nothing of it, and they decided to come over and invade the small town of Puebla. While the village was small, the people were mighty, and they stood up to the French army. And the French lost 500 soldiers during this battle, and the Mexicans were victorious. It was a great battle, fought and won, and still to this day, people talk about it, and thus we celebrate Cinco de Mayo by eating Mexican food and drinking beer. And especially in America, we make this festival huge by doing crazy, stupid, drunk things. But I think a lot of people forget the true meaning of Cinco de Mayo. trajeron nuestros abuelos, padres y hemos seguido este, con la misma tradición desde más chiquitos, más grandes y todos. So this Cinco de Mayo, get together with friends and family and celebrate the victory that is Cinco de Mayo. For our first recipe today, we are making Puerco Verde tacos. What does Puerco Verde mean? It means pork in green sauce. Uh, these are amazing tacos and my family loves them. You'll love them too. Check it out. All right, first we're gonna start off by slicing up our pork roast. Then we're gonna season it with some salt. and then some black pepper. And then what we need to do is sear the meat on high heat. You can use a cast iron pan or just a regular stainless pan. And then we're gonna slice up one onion and then two serrano peppers. Now it's time to flip the meat. Make sure you sear all sides. Now we'll add some salt, a quarter cup of cumin, quarter cup paprika, four tablespoons of garlic, half a cup of lime juice, large handful of cilantro, one jar of salsa verde, and then fill the rest with water.
Now we'll add some cabbage, some of our pork, a little pickled red onion, and then some queso fresco. And there you have it. Puerco Verde Tacos. Flash in the pan! All right, for this Flash in the Pan, I'm gonna be talking about my top five favorite films about Mexico. All right, number one, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. This film stars Antonio Banderas as a lone mariachi seeking revenge for those he has lost. It's brilliantly directed, well written, the music is incredible, it's action every step of the way. Number two, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. This film stars Antonio Banderas and Selma Hayek and it's directed by Robert Rodriguez. It's an action-packed tale of two individuals trying to take down a cartel kingpin. There's an amazing amount of action and special effects. It's just a fun ride from start to finish. Number three, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. This film stars Antonio Banderas and Johnny Depp in this Spanish action thriller with mile-a-minute stunts and action throughout the entire film. It's a brilliantly directed movie. I highly, highly recommend it. Number four, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. This film stars Antonio Banderas and Johnny Depp. One is a federal agent and a mariachi on the run working separate ways to take down the same man. It has wonderful action, stunts, gunfights, you name it, it's in there. Brilliant movie. I highly recommend it. And last but not least, my all-time favorite, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. This film has a star-studded cast including Antonio Banderas, Selma Hayek, Johnny Depp, and many, many more. It's written and directed by Robert Rodriguez. And this edge-of-your-seat action film will blow you away with stunts and incredible gunfights. This movie just cannot be missed. I highly, highly recommend it. Check out Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Alright, for our second recipe today, we are making Bloody Mary rice. It's all the flavors of Bloody Mary without the alcohol, but the flavors are incredible. This goes well with any sort of Mexican dish. Check it out. Alright, we're going to dice up half a red onion. And then two celery stalks. Then we're gonna melt four to six tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of garlic, add our veggies, then we'll add four slices of crumbled up bacon, a cup and a half of spicy Bloody Mary mix, a half cup water, and one cup jasmine rice. Bloody Mary Rice.
that's our episode for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to click the thumbs up button to like this episode. And also make sure to click the big red button over here to the side to subscribe. You guys can also check me out on Instagram and Twitter at IamFoodNerd. You can also follow me on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash IamFoodNerd. You can also follow me every week on Words of Geekdom Podcast, which shows every Wednesday on iTunes and SoundCloud. I'm your host, Chris Bissett, and until next time, stay nerdy, people. Ready, aim, fire.